The weekly COVID-19 positivity rate in Metro Manila was at 19% as of October 3. To tell us more, here's Zakarian Sarao reporting live. Zach? Yes, Neil. Just this morning, Guido David, a fellow of the Independent Pandemic Monitor Octa Research, said that the weekly positivity rate for COVID-19 rose to 19% as of October 3. This, he said, is higher than the recorded percentage during the previous week or on September 26, which was at 18.17%. This, this is also almost four times higher than the World Health Organization's ideal threshold of 5%. In fact, COVID numbers based on the Department of Health's online tracker show that as of October 4, Metro Manila has the highest number of new cases in the last two weeks at 13,559 infections, more than twice the 5,515 cases recorded in Calabarzon, which is its second place in terms of regions with the highest number of COVID infections. The tracker also indicated that active infections nationwide are currently at 26,792. Meanwhile, also just this morning, the DOH released data on missiles and rubella, locally known as TIGDAS and TIGDAS hanging. The data show that recorded infections for this year have already reached 450 as of September 17. This, as noted by DOH, is 153% higher than the infections recorded in 2021. Two deaths have already been reported among these cases, each of, we, we, each of which occurred in August and in, in September. DOH said that most measles and rubella cases were recorded in Calabarzon, Central Visayas, and Metro Manila, while five out of 17 regions, namely Cagayan Valley, Calabarzon, Bicol Region, Central Visayas, and Metro Manila, have already surpassed measles epidemic threshold levels. DOH officer in charge Maria Rosario Verjera just yesterday warned that the country may face a measles outbreak by 2023 if the vaccination coverage of children does not improve. This prompted the department to meet with the mid to meet with its implementing units to strengthen routine immunization against the virus. Uh, Zach, let me go back to your story on the positivity rate. Should the public be concerned about this increase in positivity rate? And what does the Department of Health have to say about this? Well, Neil, the government has yet to bear plans in reintroducing tighten, tighter mm -hmm. restrictions for the pandemic. In fact, Octa fellow David even noted that the latest positivity rate in NCR, although higher than the previous week, was actually slightly lower than the October 2, 19.1%. Meanwhile, the DOH, for its part, has yet to release its own statement or its own count of Metro Manila's current positivity rate, but it can be recalled that just less than a week ago, the department reclassified Metro Manila under moderate risk for COVID-19 transmission as infections significantly increased over the past weeks. It then reminded the public to continue complying to minimum public health standards and to ensure that they have already immunized themselves against COVID-19 with the vaccines and booster shots. Uh -huh. Thanks, Zach. That's Zakarian Sarao's live report.